and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are talking about the latest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 patch update regarding the weapons as well as the perks which have been affected during today's launch of the Awakening DLC which includes four new multiplayer maps as well as one brand new zombies map and as always you guys thoroughly enjoy this video so if you are enjoying this video then be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new also comment down below your thoughts regarding this patch because some of these weapons which have been affected have been pretty good they've been pretty good updates and there's one perk which has been uh, slightly nerfed so stay tuned to the channel stay tuned to this video and let's get straight into it right so let's talk about the weapons straight away so generally what they've done is that they fine-tuned rapid fire the effectiveness from rapid fire across all weapons so if you now use rapid fire on any weapon they've slightly fine-tuned it now on the submachine guns what they've done overall is so for every submachine gun in black ops 3 they've reduced the sprint out speed the vmp they fixed an issue where a player would occasionally not show up on the radar when firing which i think is pretty damn awesome i think there was an issue once in modern warfare 2 where you have an lmg with a silencer, but it would still show up on the radar, where this is the total opposite. So anyone with a VMP would shoot and wouldn't show up on the radar. So you had like a silencer, which you didn't really use. So it was like a free attachment, which I think was pretty cool, but they've now fixed it. So I, I guess it can be annoying. Like someone's shooting and you can't hear them and they haven't got a, like a silencer on. I guess that can be slightly frustrating, but that's now being fixed. Now, moving on to the assault rifle, so the XR2. So they've increased the ADS aim save ability. So what that means is when you in, when you aim in on the ADS, it doesn't sway as much. That's what I think it is. Like, save ability on the increased ADS aim. So you've got more of a stable ADS. And they've pretty much done this for quite a lot of weapons. So um, they've also increased the recoil control on the XR2. The ICR, they've increased the ADS aim save ability again. The Shiva, they've increased the ADS aim. Shotguns on the Argus, they've increased the lethal damage range, as well as on the KRM-262, exactly the same buff there, which is pretty cool. Light machine guns, so on all light machine guns, they've increased the ADS aim stability. Sniper rifles on the Locust, one of my favourite sniper rifles, they've increased the ADS the ADS, they've increased the ADS aim stability. I'm losing my words there. Like it's almost like a tongue twister. Uh, on the specials, on the brass knuckles, they've added a spark effect to the brass knuckles taunt. Now the attachment, right? So if you guys are rocking out FMJ, one of my favourite attachments from Modern Warfare 2, especially when you want to get that red tiger camo. Well. FMJ and Black Ops 3 no longer deals increased damage to the robots in Safeguard, and it no longer ignores the armor provided to a satellite drone carriers in Uplink, which I think is pretty good for competitive. Now, finally, the only perk which actually has been affected is the Awareness perk. So in the Awareness perk, is that they have a reduced audible range bonus. So um, it's slightly been buffed. Well, not buffed. It's been it's duffed, buffed. No, it's slightly been nerfed. So it's the, the perk has been nerfed slightly. So... If you are rocking out awareness, that is the latest update. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then give this video a massive thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I might be doing another video today talking about the latest score streaks. So, uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.